All right, folks, this is a prime example of why you want to have a OBD2 in the uh, Foreskin Light program on your phone because you might be driving down the highway and uh, something happens and uh, you need to check it out. In my case, my adaptive cruise control decided to go offline because it uh, was blocked. You know, I knew it wasn't blocked, but strangely enough, while I was driving down the highway, uh, I came across an older semi that had all sorts of curves and everything else going on it. And uh, I don't know why, but as soon as I approached next to the semi, all of a sudden the adaptive crew started going nuts and uh, it started flashing on and then it backed off and then uh, it didn't flash on the warning yet that it was blocked but that it backed off then it tried to go up again past the semi and then, and then it backed off again and it kept trying it for about two or three times and then finally the radar displayed the message that it was blocked and uh, no longer functioning and the message is right up here that's right that's the message that it gave me so what I did as I had my four scan light that I have on my phone and I also had uh, my OBD links MX plus plugged in so I went ahead and I checked out what was going on and as you can see right up here Yes, that's the warning that I got. So I had, I pulled off to the road to the gas station and that was on the interstate and I uh, went through the procedures to identify what it was and reset it. Then I turned the car off like it asked me. Then I turned it back on and reset it. And then it worked perfectly after that. So uh, if there's any reason to have some of these devices and this stuff on your phone, that is it because otherwise you would be stuck driving without your cruise control for the rest of your trip so uh yeah well worth the money and it's reset and if it happens again i can reset it again and if it continues to happen and it's repeatable uh then we know we got a bad module but for right now it just seems like there's something with that semi i don't know if it was jamming or or what the deal was. It, it was really strange that that semi, out of all the semis I passed, that one was the one where my cruise control was having the hardest time. But that semi also was an older one. It had all sorts of big fender flares on it, and big pipes and sticking out everywhere. It just wasn't smooth like all the other semis. So there was something about that semi that caused my adaptive cruise not to work. And uh, I had to actually pull off the road to reset it and get it all working again. So interesting little thing that happened. I thought I'd share it all with you. And let's take a look at the uh, MX Plus that I got plugged in continuously so you guys know what you're actually looking at. And uh, we'll go from there. As you can see, I have the... Uh OBD Lynx MX Plus always on. It sleeps at night when you and powers down and it runs 24 7 in my car and I've never had a problem with it in the years that I've been using it. So hey in this case it definitely paid for itself and that's a good thing. So that's uh, the story and uh, we'll see what happens in the future. But anyway yep Left at about 5 o'clock this morning, headed up towards nearly Wisconsin, north eastern Iowa at the very far corner, and then drove back here yet today. So, been a rather, rather long run today, but uh, hey, this is Mac T, and remember, like, subscribe, join, all that good stuff. My feet hit the floor today, and I'm having a great day, and I want you to have a great day too. Mercy Grill's always got some one-liners, and Band of One's always playing some sort of music too. Thank you for watching MacT's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.